Thank you for tuning in, and we thank you for your generous offering. All that you have given has not been gone in vain. We thank you, and a lot of things have been getting accomplished. So right now, hold your hands up so the usher will assist you at this time on the tight line for envelope. Write your name legibly, then date it, and the amount that you're tithing to the church. Amen. Once you have them, your gifts in your hand, um, make your way to the aisles, assist by the offering. Now, if you're swiping, if you need um, your card, we 
do have Sister Jasmine and Sister Williams at the back of the sanctuary, and they will swipe your card debit. Amen. Amen. We serve a good God. And I don't know what you come this come today expecting. I hope that you come expecting a breakthrough. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. I'm excited for what the word is going to come forth. Amen. I'm waiting to see God move in a mighty way today. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm not here to have church as usual. I, I've come this expecting a miracle, a breakthrough. Amen. Hallelujah. Once you have that, give, make your way to the aisle here. And if y'all can give us some music as they come. Thank you. increase. We have everyone stand to their feet. Please stand to your feet at this time. Quiet. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the Judah Worship Center. Choir, as they come to you with an A selection.
choir is coming to you with an A selection. I'm excited to hear the choir sing this song. They practice so hard. On the Lord is blessing me right now. Come on, play it. Amen. Put your hands together for the choir. Amen.
Tell somebody the Lord is blessing me. Some of y'all didn't tell nobody. Tell them again the Lord is blessing me. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your peace, Lord Jesus. For all that you have done for us. For what you're about to do in the house on this noontime hour. Encourage your people. Strengthen their heart. Strengthen their minds. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for your peace right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you're about to do for us. God, we ask you right now to heal the broken heart. Give strength to the feeble mind. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, convict that heart even the more for they come back to Christ. Even touch the ones that are watching by the way of live stream. Touch them in their household. And God will forever give you the praise. Forever give you the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name. Come on, while you're still standing, just lift your hands to the Lord. Just lift them all over this place. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them all over this place. Come on, yes. Yes, take them over there. Come on, let's honor him today. Let's worship him. Hallelujah. Let's worship him. Yes. Let's worship the Lord. Where the worshipers at? Come on. Let's worship. Yes. That's my key. Hallelujah. Thank you. With the fruit of your lips. Come on. With the fruit of your lips. With the fruit of your lips. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, bye-bye. Let him know how much you love him. Come on, let him know how much you love him. I love you, Lord. And I live my voice to work. Take joy, my King, and what you hear, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Come on, lift your hands again, lift your hands all over this building. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King. In what you hear, oh, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Lift your hands again and say, I love you, Lord, and I live my voice. Then you go lift him to one shop. Oh, my soul, reach on. Take joy, my king, in what you hear. Oh, yes, and let it be a sweet. Sweet sound in your ear. Come on, clap your hands right there. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Praise Him. Praise Him. Give me some more, Dean. Praise. Everybody say it. Pray. Jesus. Jesus. Bless the Savior. He's worthy. He's worthy to be prayed. Now clap your hands right there. 
that again. Praise Him. Praise Him. Everybody. Praise Him. Bow your head back and say it. Praise Him. You hear that word praise? Go ahead and clap your hands. Come on, clap them real fast. Clap them real fast. Say it again. Say it again. Praise him. Everybody. Come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. 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 is worthy of your praise just tell somebody God is worthy of your praise my God and you may be seated amen in the presence of the Lord he's worthy he's worthy of your praise I don't know about you but I thank him I thank the Lord come on how many praise him today amen because he's worthy is that right he's swerted I don't know about you but the devil lost his opportunity today to take my life amen but God has given us another opportunity to lift up the name of Jesus amen and we we magnify the Lord we glorify him for giving us that chance amen to lift up the name of Jesus thank God for our leaders and our elders and ministers in the house today man on this morning Come on, give God a hand praise for me, man. Missionary saints and friends, amen, for coming, amen, in the house on this blessed day. Uh, mother of the church, Mother Jackson, say amen for her. God bless your mother. Amen. Last but not least, my lovely and beautiful wife, Sister Vicki L. Bitch, <laughs> Hallelujah. I want you to see something in the word of the Lord, amen, on this morning, amen, noontime hour now, amen, and we're going to just rearrange some couple of things, amen, to help you out, amen, uh, when you have been led by the Spirit of the Lord, you are uh, sons of God, amen, so we're going to be led by the Lord, somebody shout, be led by the Lord, just be led by him, amen, and you're going to watch and see what God do in our midst. Amen. In the next several weeks. Amen. We got some more pews that we need to fill up. Amen. God's going to fill this place. Amen. Amen, somebody. God's going to fill this place. Amen. With people who, amen, who are hungry and thirsting after righteousness. All right? Come on, turn your Bibles with me right quick to Romans chapter 4. And then we'll go to Daniel chapter 6. Amen. Romans 4, then Daniel chapter 6. Amen. If you just give me the first um, 10 minutes to uh, talk this through, amen, for a little while, and then we express in more of a deeper fashion. That'd be all right? So Romans chapter 4, and we'll start at verse 
uh, number 16. Four and 16. And make sure that you have this word, amen, because it's only the word that's going to help us and the word that's going to keep us. Is that right? And thank God again for these young men and, and our children in school doing such an excellent job. Amen. I'm getting a lot of reports. Amen. Our children that now in the church, amen, they're coming up with their grades. Yes, Say amen. So amen. Grades are coming up. Amen. And amen. We're getting a lot of good reports of our student athletes. Yes, amen. Doing a good job in classroom. Yes, amen. I see that the Temple Wildcats are going Amen. Won their first playoff game. Say amen for that. Give my hand praise. Come on. I thought we live in Temple. We're a church in Temple, right? Amen. I see. Amen. That we have. Amen. Sister Shannon and her son are here. Amen. From China Springs. Amen. And they. Amen. And they went way to state in marching band and and I didn't get the in sixth place. Amen. Say amen for that. That's a great honor, amen, to go away to state, amen. And we have him say, man, my son, amen. It's a mo from Chilton ISD in the, in the playoff game, amen. They go away to Trinity, amen. So we have a lot of children, amen, that's in our sports. And saints, let's support them. Amen, somebody, let's support them. And when you get out there, stay sanctified now. Don't be... Amen. No, stay sanctified. Tara, stay sanctified. <laughs> Amen. Let's stay sanctified. Amen. Amen. Stay holy out there. Amen. Don't beat them up. Amen. Don't fight them. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I forgot. Marlins in the playoff too. Amen. Amen. Marl. Yeah. Marl. Come on. Marlin Bulldog. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Sister Tanisha used to be the mascot. She used to fight people in the Mascot uniform. That brother Gary told me. Amen. Amen. But don't fight. Don't fight. No fight. But amen. Some other schools. Amen. We're supporting all of our children. Amen. All right. Amen. Uh, Romans chapter 4 and brother Gordon to read verse number 16. Therefore, it is a faith uh -huh. that it might be by grace to the end of the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, uh -huh. who is the father of us all. All right, verse 17. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many I nations. Made thee of, I made thee. I have made thee. Now, see, some of you in the process of being made. Amen, somebody. You know, a long time ago, now, our Thanksgiving season is coming up. But, see, we had a, and we got a wood house, and, um, Mom and them told us, you know, uh, when you come in the kitchen, walk lightly. They didn't want you to walk too heavy by the stove, especially while the cakes was cooking. Do y'all know anything about that? Let me talk to the ones who didn't have a, uh, a brick house back then there. Man, we had the wood floor. And, and, and now I understand, Brother Jones, that the reason why they want us to walk lightly is because if we walk too heavy, we will interrupt the process of a, the cake being made. Yeah. Have you ever seen a cake come out kind of wopsided? That's how one of my cakes done one time, a little wopsided and stuff. It's because in the process of being made, somebody disturbed it. Now, see, right now, some of you are in the process of being made. You are in the process of God building your patience and building up your love, building up your trust again. Somebody hurt you. Somebody disappointed you. So God has to make you over again. I ain't got no witness on this side, but that's all right. I'm going to get somewhere. You're gonna, you, you, you'll understand it. So God is making you. Just elbow somebody and tell them God is making me right now. He said, I made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened the what? Man. And what? Call it those call things. It, call it those things which, which be what? Be which not be not as though they were. As though they were. 
Now you have to have a spiritual maturity to order to call some things into existence. Now, God is not going to just grace you with that type of anointing uh, if you don't have that spiritual maturity. Now, so, now, what are you saying, Pastor Beecham? That sometimes uh, uh, God has to spank you into that maturity level. Uh, I, I ain't got no witnessing. Let me talk to all the grannies and all the mamas and, uh, when you had to spank your little child hand. And, and they didn't understand to keep their hand out of the cookie jar. They didn't understand, don't do this, don't do that. You had to spank them a little bit. I'm sorry, we're not in that day where you spank kids. I know that y'all just let your children just do anything. But long time ago, we used to have switches at church. And y'all ain't saying that. You sat beside a switch. Some of y'all sat beside switches and, and, and little uh, uh, fans that didn't have the little cardboard box. It was just the wood. That, that wood wasn't there just a fan. That wood was a spanking stick. Oh, y'all ain't saying that to me, my God. Because they had to tell our children, teach them how to mature, teach them how to behave. In other words, God uses problems in situations to, to help mature our spiritual life. Because God said, I cannot release this great anointing upon you if you're not mature enough to handle it. Oh, y'all ain't saying that something. My God, God said, no, no, I can't release a million dollars upon you. You don't even know how to handle 200 real good just yet. I, I can't release this billion dollar, my God, dream in your life right now because you don't know how to handle this type of anointing on your life just yet. So God said, listen, you have the power to speak speak to things and call it into existence do i have one witness what well, the bible says here what it says in verse number 18 who against come on now yes sir read that what does it say who who against hope, who against hope did believed what believed in hope believed in hope and why i want you to stop that just just for a little while then we'll get to something else and 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 just 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 help me out for a little while who against hope Against hope, brother Jamal. Watch this now. My believed God, in believed in hope. Who against expectation believed in hope. In other words, every time I'm expecting God to do, there is something that's going to come to try to hinder my expectation. Can I say that again? If some of you came with the expectation, God's going to heal my grandson. God's going to do it for my child. There's something that's going to come against that. Oh, you hear what I'm saying? You're going to receive some bad news. You're going to receive a text message or email. or Somebody's going to give you a call to try to derail your expectation. I want you to just strap somebody by the hand and shout, neighbor, don't allow nothing to destroy your hope in Jesus Christ. In other words, my God, if you believe in God to do it for your family, stay on it. If you believe in God going to do it for your son, stand on it. If you believe in God going to heal your body, stand on it. Don't allow what you see to destroy your expectations. Look like I've got more amens on that side and I'm, I'm going to stay over. Ow! My God. See, some of you, my God, you give up too easy. You give up too quick, my God. You stop believing too quick. The first little thing, my God, the first little wind blow, oh, you done throw in the towel, my God. But look how long God done last with you, my God. Look how many years that God held on to you. When you was in the club, he still had great expectations for you. When you were smoking and getting high, he still had great expectations for you. When you had your back turned towards him, he still had great expectations for you. You can't give up on God because it looks bad right now. Won't you just elbow somebody to you better not give up. You better not. You better not give up. I don't know who I'm preaching to. Can, can I preach to about a hundred y'all this morning? You better not give up this morning. You better not. I don't care what goes on. I don't care how the wind blow. I don't care how the lightning flash. You better, you better not Give up on God. Just high five three people and tell them you better not give up on God. You better not give up. You better not give up. You better not give up. 
You better not give up. You better not give up. Some of you done been through too much to give up. My God. Some of you done been through too much hell to give up. Man. My God. God done brought you out of all that stuff. You talking about giving up now? You could have died. You died years ago. You ain't got no time, my God, to give up and start crying now. He's done too much. The songwriter said he brought you too far to turn around now. Uh, do I have a witness, Mother Douglas? He brought you too far. Somebody shout too far. Too far to turn around now. I want you to see something. In Daniel chapter 6, and I'll give you my little subject and let you get on. Get on out of here. Daniel chapter 6. Come on, look at it with me. We'll, we'll, we'll go somewhere. Daniel chapter 6. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Daniel chapter 6. And, and look at this, uh, brother preacher. My God. And, and keep on helping me out, sister. God known that with our uh, cyber sanctuary. Keep on talking to him, my God. Get him on in here. Keep on sharing. Some of y'all love to have your phone in your hand anyway. Make good use of it. Amen. Keep on sharing it. <laughs> Can't make you put your phone out anyway. Keep sharing it. Amen. Daniel chapter 6. And I want you to see this. Because the Lord put this on my heart early this morning concerning the people of God here. Hallelujah. And, and, and this is actually a really deep lesson because I've been teaching this so long, but I've, I've seen it in another fashion. And, and we're going to get more into it. We're going to get more into it into our Bible study lessons later on. So you stay tuned. Somebody shall stay tuned. Look Daniel chapter 6 and verse and number 1. Come on. Come it on. pleased Darius. It pleased Darius. To set over the kingdom. Set over the kingdom. 120 princes. Read on. Which should be over the whole kingdom. Uh-huh. And over these three presidents. Uh -huh. Read on. Of whom Daniel was first. Read on. That the prince might give account unto them. Come on, sir. And the, and the king should have no damage. Read on. Then this Daniel. Then this Daniel. Was preferred above the presidents. This and Dan princes. Tara, you hear me? This Daniel was preferred Above all the presidents, princes, read on. Because an excellent spirit. Stop. He had what? An excellent spirit. He got promoted because of his spirit. Yes. Stop right there. Yes. I'm about to take off running, my God. He was promoted because of his spirit. You see, some of you, you asking God for promotion. God said, I can't promote you. You got too much on the inside. See, some of you, my God, you got a degree in hiding. You know how to hide that mean streak in you. Some of you know how to hide that old uh, uh, lizard spirit in you. Some of you know how to hide that snake spirit. That old backbiting spirit. And you trying to get a promotion from God and you trying to hide it. I, I know y'all won't give me no amen over there. That's, that's all right. I, that, I, that's all right. I'm gonna get back to this side. Maybe I get some amens on this side. My God, God said I want to promote you, but you got to get your spirit right. And that's the inside job there. That's that's inside, baby. My God, some of you, my God, you don't even like folks. You smile at them, but you don't like them. Sit beside them, but you don't like them. Hug them, but you don't love them. Y'all ain't talking to me, my God. You got to get yourself right on the inside. You want God to give you stuff, my God, but you got to be able to empty out that stuff in your heart. Some of you got a, a vendetta. I'm a getter. Some of y'all waiting. I'm a getter. I'm a get him. When I see him, I'm a get him. Some of you forgave, but you ain't forgotten. And your for, and your forgetness. Or I'm not willing to forget is hindering your future. Because I, I forgave, but I ain't forgotten. And every time you see him, what you ain't forgot always hindering your future. Because every time you see him, you for, if you, it comes back in your memory. Because you ain't forgot it. Yeah, I remember she done it. Mm-hmm. I remember what she done. I'm going to get him. <laughs> Still got it in your heart. Look at 
Check how much you're wrestling in your mind. You praying to God to give you something and your spirit ain't right. God lift me up. God give me the job. God this. God that. Do it for me, Lord. Do it, do it, do it. And all in your heart, your heart ain't right. Because after you get off your knees, you're saying, just watch. Just wait. I'm going to get this new car and I'm going to show it off in front of them. When I get this new house, I'm going to show it off in front of them. See, that's why God keep you in that one bedroom. Tell somebody, get your heart right. Come on, tell them again. Look at them. Slap them by and say, neighbor, get your heart right. He was promoted because he had an excellent spirit. I'm about to go. Y'all don't like this. Y'all don't like the slow rain today. I mean, y'all don't mind God. But I'm trying to help somebody, mind God. And I'm going to help you, mind God, because I pastor this church. I think I pastor. Yeah, you pastor. All right. <laughs> he had an excellent spirit over him. And watch this. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm. That's right. Verse number four. Come on, y'all go with me. Go with me. Come on. Go with me. Y'all stay with me. Are y'all with me on this side? Are y'all with me on this side? Come on, what to say? Then the presidents and princes they s- sought to find occasion against Daniel now, concerning the kingdom. Uh-huh. But they could not find no occasion. They couldn't no find fault no, no fault. For as much as he was faithful. Daniel was what? Faithful. Daniel was what? Faithful. Daniel was faithful. What done happened so dramatic in your life that done hinder you from being faithful? It was a time some of y'all was faithful. Faithful to the Lord. You was faithful in praying. Faithful in reading your Bible. Faithful in, y'all ain't talking to me, my God. Faithful in coming to Sunday school. Faithful, y'all ain't saying to, faithful coming to Bible study. Now you're just not faithful to anything. Just, what done hindered you from being faithful? I'm just not talking, my God, just coming to the church. I'm talking about your personal relationship with God. Because if you tell the truth, my God, some of you ain't reading your Bible. It's right there even on your phone, my God. You, you, you can't even tell me the last time you bought a Bible. Y'all ain't talking to me, my God. I'm talking about just opening up the app on your phone. When the last time you read the app on your phone? It try to flash up. It's, it flash up, you swipe it down. It pops up. <laughs> Don't even read the devotions. <laughs> I know it been somebody. It was a time you loved to read the word. Now you just love Facebook. Now you just love Twitter. You know all the dances and you and you're taking all type of scrub pictures and duck lips and bending out your butt. Y'all, y'all ain't taking pictures and, and doing all type of dances. You don't even love being faithful to God no more. You just dress up to take a picture. Ain't even going nowhere. Just dressing up to take a picture. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm almost through, big. I'm almost through, baby. I was flipping through the social site one time, and I said, "Sometimes people don't even know the picture can be so deceiving." One of my ex-students, Brother Hill, she took a picture, and, and they on, they on my timeline. I said, if the people really knew how tall she was, that picture is so deceiving. Yeah. <laughs> the picture looked like she's, you know, five one or four foot nine. But she's really about six foot. I said, that picture is so deceiving. Some of us have gotten so unfaithful to God. But we want his promotions. I'm closing. Come on, come on. He was faithful. No he error was, was found, in, error him. found in him. Verse number five. Come on. Then said these men. The, what they say? We shall not find any occasion against. We ain't gonna Daniel. find no ga- occasion against Daniel. Except we find it against the law concerning the law of his God. The devil ain't worrying about your clothes. You ain't worrying about him. You don't hang him up. You don't press him out. Devil ain't worried about your car. You don't wash it. 
He worried about your money. You don't even manage your good. He, what you, he ain't worried about your money. You, you mismanage your own money. The devil's after my money. No, you mismanage your money. The devil don't want your car, your clothes. He don't want none of that. The devil understand there's a great anointing of God on your life right now. And if you ever tap into that anointing that God has on your life right now, you can change whatever situation you're going through right now. Or do I have one witness? For the Bible says when he made man, he blew his breath inside a man and made him a living soul. There's life in you. There's joy in you. There's deliverance in you. There's peace on the end inside of you. Uh, greater is he uh, that's in you uh, than he that's in the world. Yes, we got to find something. He right. said we need to make some up. My God concerning his God. Come on go down. Come on go down there with me. They made a law of verse number seven. Come on read on. Please. All the presidents of the kingdom, uh-huh. the governors and the princes. Give me a little more Dean. I'm about to go. Come the on. The captains have consulted together to establish a decree uh-huh. to right make there. firm whatsoever shall ask a petition uh-huh. of any god man for 30 days save of the king. They, now watch he this. shall be cast into the den of I lions. I want to talk about this my last five minutes. Facing opposition with prayer. Yeah. Say that with me. Facing, Facing. Opposition, opposition with prayer. Facing it with prayer. Facing it, my, my God. I'm not running from it. I'm not trying to go around it. I'm going to face it. I'm going to face it. I'm going to show you in this text, Brother Green, I'm going to show you so the mirror, my God, that God will not sometime just take your problem and throw it away. He's going to make you go through it. Can I help somebody on this side? I know we're praying for God to, God, make it vanish away. Vanish it. Eyes closed. When you open it, it's going to be going. Still there. How do you handle when God does not eliminate the problem? Are you still prayer for them? Come on with your deep Holy Ghost self. Are you still prayer for them? Are you still filled then? Can you still say yes Lord? Yes Lord. Huh? Come on. Whoever pray in these next 30 days, what's going to happen? You're going into the den of lions. If you keep on praying, you're going into the den. If you keep praying, you go going to the den. Right. I'm going to help somebody on this side. You keep on praising God, you're going to the den. Keep on coming to church, you're going to the den. You keep on clapping your hands, you're going to the den. Won't you grab somebody by the hand and shout, neighbor? Prepare yourself. We're going to the den. That's all right. That's all right. I, I, I talked. Look, look like my amen's done left that corner over there. I need to come over here. Can I just tell somebody, prepare yourself. You're going to the den. Prepare yourself. You're going to the den. You're, you're going to the den. Something special is going to happen at the den. I know lions going to be there, but something special is going to happen at the den. I know, my God, your demise is supposed to be there, but something special is going to happen at the den. Can I help you, Brother Jamal? Oh, my God. I'm not running from the den this time. I'm not my God, going to throw my future away for the den this time. I'm going to face the den. I'm going to face the problem. Do I have any witness, my God? Something special is going to happen at the den. Good God Almighty. I ain't got no witness on this side. But can I just prophesy to about a hundred people on this blessed noontime hour that something special is going to happen at the den. My God, I come to bring some good news to somebody, my God. I know the devil been trying to make you run, run scared. But the devil 
is a lamb. I feel a David in my spirit. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I would fear no evil. Something special is going to happen at the den. Oh, my God. God, my God. I'm closing, brother, my God, Brother Darrell. But I just feel something special is about to happen for some of y'all. Because you've been going through hell. Hell all at your house. Hell on your job. But something special is about to happen because of what you've been going through. Won't you grab your neighbor by the hand and shout, neighbor? Just hang on. Hang on. Just a little while longer. Something special. Is about to happen in your life, my God, because God is gonna work in your favor. Don't have about 50 people to just jump up and shout, Lord, do it for me. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Now. While some of y'all still standing, just just without the music, just this is only for about fifteen of y'all. So to bring them, down. this is only for about fifteen of y'all who can shout without the music, because something special is about to happen for you. Just shout right there. Just start dancing and and shouting right there. Just dance and shout. You don't know what God is about to do, but my dance is saying, God, I believe you in advance. My dance is saying, God, I. Thank you. Ow! Ow! All right. All right. Hold up. Let, 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 me, let me get the. Let, 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 I, See, I want you to see something. Go, go to verse 10, quick. Go to verse 10. Boy, my time by that. Now when, Daniel knew, now when Daniel knew that the writing hold, was hold, signed. Hold up. Stop, 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 stop. Y'all ain't saying this. Y'all ain't saying it. Y'all ain't saying it. And, and, and I preached to these, my God, these sisters over here. Y'all ain't saying it. What happened? Daniel did what? Daniel what? Knew that it was I, I, I knew. Daniel knew. He knew, my God. They was trying to set me up. He, he knew about it. He, see, some of y'all shocked, my God, of what you done heard. You, you were shocked, my God, of what people were trying to do, my God. But Daniel wasn't shocked, my God. Daniel knew, my God, that if he kept on praying, he was going to the lion's den. He, if he kept on praying, my God, that, he, my God, he was looking to die. He knew about it. How do you respond when you know about it, my God? How do you respond? You know what your grandson doing. Can I preach? to your mother how, how do you respond when you know about it just tell somebody how do you respond when you know about it how do you respond when the doctor told you my god you have this and this in your body how do you respond when the lawyer said you got this many years how do you respond my god when this is going on in your life and that is going on you better look at daniel you better look at daniel see when sister my god sister jackson my god daniel knew about it he went into his house now, is that E flat my God he went into his house now, my God tell somebody get back in the house now, come on put your preaching voice on and shout get back in the house he got in the house and his windows been open in his chamber towards Jerusalem and he kneeled up on his knees three times a day Daniel already knew if I'm going to pray I'm going to die Daniel already knew if I get on my knees I'm going to die but good God Almighty the Bible says 
Yes, and the the Bible said here that Daniel's prayer was a little bit different than ours. I know some of y'all praying and you're telling God all your problems, but that's not how Daniel prayed. The Bible said Daniel prayed, come on, and gave thanks. In other words, Sister Landrum, he got on his knees. Lord, I thank you. Got on on his knees saying Lord I thank you cause I'm going to the lion's den he got on his knees saying Lord I thank you for the ailment in my body in your next prayer section can you get on your knees with a different type of prayer a prayer of thanksgiving grab your neighbor grab him by the hand and shout oh neighbor can you start your prayer out by saying thank you. Thank you for the activity of my limbs. Thank you just for a right mind. Thank you for all my children. Thank you for my health. Can you start your prayer out with more compliments than complaints? Can you start your prayer out and say, Lord, Thank you for waking me up. Lord, thank you just for another day. Lord, thank you for another opportunity to breathe this fresh air. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Oh, 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 oh. My time is over, but I want you to see this, Sister Brittany. If nobody else catch this message, I want you to catch it. And I want some more to catch it. Daniel knew. He knew about it. He knew that if he prayed, if he prayed, he was going to jail. He knew about it. He prayed three times, three times a day. Got up in the morning, noontime hour, in the evening, and prayed and gave thanks. Did your Bible say the same? Y'all talk. Did your Bible say the same? He prayed three times and gave thanks. Y'all ain't saying that to me. He prayed and gave thanks. Prayed and gave thanks. Did your Bible say it? Did it say the same thing? But I want you to see some elder. Even though he prayed, even though he gave thanks, he still, he still, still had to go. Had to go to the lion's den. What are you saying, Pastor Beecham? Even though we pray, even though we clap our hands, we still have to go through our little old valleys. Grab, grab, grab somebody, grab them by the hand and shout on the heap of blood. Let's go through. Come on, say, let's go through. We ain't giving up because we're going through. We ain't throwing in the town because we're going through. We're going to go through this valley with prayer. Do I have one witness? Pray until God give you strength. Pray until God build you up. Pray until God give you power. Pray until God give you more joy. Pray. Pray. Throw your hands up and shout, Lord, stir up the prayer on the inside of me that stir up the prayer on the inside of me yeah get in the ball Lord yes I'm going I'm closing 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 my Bible but I want you to see something and some of you was at Bible study you will catch what I'm saying. It talks about kingdom. You can't talk about the Holy Ghost 
until you talk about kingdom. Good God Almighty. Can I help somebody? Can I help somebody? Every kingdom has its own language. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. When they took us from Africa, we was in another kingdom. We had to learn another language. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. We had to learn another type of language. Because we was in another kingdom. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. If you look at Matthews chapter 4, when Jesus, he said, repent of John the Baptist. Y'all need to repent. Understand the kingdom of God is at hand. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Acts chapter 19. Good God Almighty. After they prophesied and spoke in tongues, Paul was teaching him about the kingdom. Are you understanding me? Good God Almighty. The kingdom of God brings another language. The kingdom of God brings another language. When Daniel, good God Almighty, went inside the lion's den, he kept on praying. You can tell he was praying because when you pray and you start speaking prophetic the prophetic is very is very is very contagious the prophetic is what is what is contagious how do you know that Daniel do you know that Daniel uh, was prophesying? Uh, Daniel was saying thank you uh, and it got contagious. Uh, it was so contagious uh, that the same king uh, who signed the petition, uh, the same king uh, who said you gotta die, uh, the same king uh, who said you gotta go to the lion's den uh, in verse 16, uh, good God Almighty, uh, it was so contagious uh, that in verse 16, uh, that the Daniel, uh, mm, uh, the king said, uh, now the king spake uh, and said, uh, said unto Daniel, uh, thou God uh, whom thou servest, uh, continually, uh, he will, uh, he will, uh, he will deliver. Uh, I come to tell somebody, uh, if you pray uh, with thanksgiving, uh, it'll start changing. Uh, Changing things, changing things around. Pray with thanksgiving. Pray with thanksgiving. On, on your lips. I come to tell, tell somebody in this church in Judah, the worship center. When Daniel prayed, he testified, and when he testified. Guess what he said? My God, my God, whom I serve, God, Santa Angel, Santa Angel, down to shut the lions, shut the lions' mouth, grab your neighbor, grab him by the hand, and shut neighbor. God's gonna send an angel. God's gonna send an angel on your behalf. Look at your neighbor and shine neighbor. Oh neighbor, God is gonna send an angel on your behalf. Say a little different I'm praying with thanksgiving in my mouth I'm telling the Lord thank you hey thank you thank you for bringing me out thank you for opening the doors yeah pray pray with thanksgiving pray pray he's already done it he's already brought Malik out he's already done it already healed already delivered already set free 
testimony he's getting ready to add something in your testimony what is gonna add pastor Daniel said this my God my God shot the angel he saw the angel grab your neighbor grab your neighbor son neighbor God is getting ready to add in your testimony God is gonna see it God is gonna see it. Send an angel. Shout it up. God's gonna send an angel to warn your behalf. He's gonna send an angel to war. War for your children. War for your son. War for your daughter. Yeah! yeah! Send it. Send it. Send it. Send it. Send it. Send out. Send out your rain. Your ladder rain. Send it out. Yeah. Hey. Throw your hands up. Throw your hands up. And some Lord, send your angel, send your glory, yeah! Do it. I'm trying to stop y'all, but God's gonna do it. He's gonna add to your testimony. He's gonna add to your testimony. You will know that God done it. God's gonna do it. God's gonna do it. God's gonna do it. God's gonna open the door. God's gonna heal. You might as well praise a man. You might as well lift your voice now. Yeah! Thank you. I dare you to open your mouth. I 
Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Shut it off. She tell a lot of dear. Shut it up. Shut it up. Shut up. The devil can't stand it. He can't stand it. Take it. I'm not complaining. I want you to get this. Get it, Brother Trey. I want you to get this. Sister Gardner, Daniel knew where he was going. He knew Eddie where he was going. But Sister Davis, he knew that if I go there, God will be with me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sister Davis, God's going to be with me. He's going to be with you. You could have been lost. And you could have been lost your mind, but God was with you. God. He knew where he was going, mother, but he didn't fret. Sometimes we fret. I know, I know. I know it's hard what you're going through. I know. I know you don't want to see this, but God's going to be with you. And all Daniel could do said, Lord, I thank you. I'm not trying to stop my enemies. I'm not trying to stop the people who are making up these wrong laws. I'm just coming to you with thanksgiving because my prayer cannot be about complaints or requests it must be full of thanksgiving I'm thanking God in the midst of it in the midst of it midst of it midst of the pain try us I'm thanking God quickly I want the people at this church let me get up here people at this church come feel this altar quickly it's all around this place just come feel this altar and lift your, lift your hands this is God's going to do something for your soul while you're standing at this altar. Come. 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 Feel this altar. Come on, yes. While your hands are lifted.
Let your power up. Holy Ghost, fall on me. Anointing, fall on me. Come on, your hands just slip it. Just lift your hand, let the tears run down. Oh, anointing. No. Fall on me, Lord. symbolize Lord I'm surrendering to your will hey I'm surrendering to your will your will Lord hey there you go surrender. I'm surrendering I know it's hard I know it's hard my hands are lifted Lord I surrender Yes. While you're at this altar, allow the Lord to minister to your heart. Come on. Allow him to minister to you. Hey. There you go. There you go. He'll take the hurts away. Let the power. You don't 
thought I was worth saving. Come on. So you came and changed my life. Hey. You thought I was worth keeping. You cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. Oh. Oh. You sacrificed your life so I could be free, so I could be loved. Hey. I could tell everyone I know you thought I was worth saving. Hey. Hey. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. You cleaned me up inside. You thought I was a devil. You sacrificed your life. So I would be free. I would be lost. Father, I pray for the ones here strengthen their hearts. Strengthen their hearts. And God, allow this message to stay in their spirit that they will face opposition with a thankful prayer. They will face opposition with a thankful prayer. Hey. God, we import the anointing of the word in them in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh. Hey. And this prayer is sealed. This prayer is sealed by the Holy Ghost. Should I worship forever? Should I give you glory forever? Should I tell you story forever? How you've been good to me forever? King? How you made a way forever? It's forever, forever, forever. forever. I worship you now forever, forever, forever. 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 And it's sealed. Forever. It's done. In Jesus' name. Go back, keeping this word in your heart. Go back so I could to your seat. I, I can be home. I can tell everyone I know. I live. I live. We're leaving together. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. So I could be free, be free. I can be whole. I can tell everyone I know. How many enjoyed the word today? Amen. Council blood clocks. Jesus. Hey.
it's the word that's going to do it for you. When I'm feeling lost, Lord, I don't, I don't feel like I'm close to you. I'm going back to him in prayer. Yeah, I'm going back to him in prayer. See, the devil's a liar. <laughs> Let it be. Do it for Lord. Strengthen him even the more. Man, I don't know how she is. Everywhere. Holly. While your hands are lifted, I'm, I got it in. It's, there's too much glory here. But you're going to have an experience in the den. And it's going to be a God experience. My hands are lifted saying, God, I welcome the den experience. The den experience. Uh, I'm gonna face it this time, Gavin. I'm gonna face it. I'm gonna face it. I'm gonna face it. The trial. I'm gonna face it. I'm going through. I'm going through. I'm going through. I'm going through. Sister Blackman, you're gonna make it. You and your family, you're gonna make it. Put a thank you back in your house. I'm thanking God. I'm going back in the house. The devil will not win. Face it. Face it. Face it. Face it. Out of the hush, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Can I have your wife to stay in? Stay in here, sis. Stay in. And just lift your hands this way. Turn this way. Turn. Other way. Yeah. And lift your hands. Now, can I put my hand right here, husband? I'm going to put my hand right here. And I hear the Lord saying this. You're healed. In Jesus' name. No more sickness, no more pain, by your strength, we all can proclaim, I am here. 
in Jesus. Jesus. Jesus' name. I'm healed. In Jesus' name. No more sickness. No more sickness. No more pain. By his stripes. By his stripes. We all can proclaim. Yeah. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. Each other. I'm healed. I'm healed. Every tumor melted. Every tumor, every cancer cell. I'm healed. I'm healed. Woo. Yes. I'm healed. I'm healed. Woo. Jesus Yes Jesus name Come on Somebody said I'm healed I'm healed I'm healed. I'm healed. Sister Green told me something Wednesday. What what you tell me? That my aunt had been admitted to the hospital. She had been in there for over two weeks. Um, she had been on the ventilator. She couldn't talk. She didn't have a memory. She didn't recognize who we were when we called her. She was just out of it. And during the service, her niece, my cousin, FaceTimed me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Shut. Somebody to pray. I got something. I got somebody. God bless you, my sister. We're praying for you. Just wave your hands. Just wave your hand. In the hospital, waving your hands. Somebody have a praise. Sister, Sister Green told me that Wednesday, and I said, Sister Green, bring the pictures and put them on the altar and put them on this podium. There's power on this podium. I double dog dare somebody next service. Bring that son. Y'all put those pictures on the altar. God's gonna work these situations out. God gonna work that thing out. I got 15 people just start dancing and shouting. You got 30 more seconds, dance and shout. Go ahead and dance and shout. Praise the man.
Lord. Bring them out, Lord. Bring them out, Lord. We put them on the altar. We put them on the altar. your neighbor, shout neighbor. Come on, shout neighbor. What's wrong with you? Tell them what's wrong with you. Reply to them. Say, I just came out of a lion's den. I just, Yeah. 
I 
I see this thing opening up. I see God getting ready to open up something. For the last 30 seconds, and Brother Zach, 30 seconds. For 30 seconds of the Williams. For 30 seconds. Every person in this building. Just start dancing with your feet. Just start dancing. Dance for 30 seconds. Go dance. 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 Jesus. Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus. Jesus name. Guys, you got 15 more seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Just grab your neighbor by the hand and shout, neighbor. If you only knew what I've been through over the last couple of weeks, you understand my praise. But since you don't know, just let me alone for a little while. Because I've been through, I've been through something. I've I'm past time here. We got to go. Now some of you brought your phones. I want you to bring pictures about Wednesday night and Sunday and leave them on the altar. I know you can't leave your phone. been here and has granted our requests I want 30 of you to honor God with me Rissaw I want 30 of you to honor God with me with a seat of a hundred dollars of course yeah I want 30 of you quickly before we leave quickly to honor God with me with a seed of a hundred dollars right back then will you honor God with me 30 members there are people that are watching live hallelujah that are watching live that will honor God with me with a seed of a hundred dollars for those 30 will you honor God with me Yes, thank you, Brother Jamal. Thank you, Minister Jamal. Thank you. Come on. Thank you, Sister Paula. Thank you, Sister Brittany. There's some more. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, Sister Vicky. My wife. There's some more that said, Pastor, I'm going to honor God with me. Just feel these two aisles. Thank you. Just feel these two aisles. My God. Thank you, Nita. Thank you, my sister here. Thank you.
Sarah Samoa. Thank you, Sister Landrum. Thank you. Thank you, my sister. Will you stand in these aisles here? Come on. Thank you, Brother Jamal, for standing in that aisle. Stand right there. Start that out. Thank you, my sister. Come on, there's some more that would do it. Trust God with me. Trust God. I don't know who's giving online, but just say it. Put it in the comment. I'm giving, Pastor. I'm giving. I'm giving. Thank you, Jazz. Thank you. There's some more that would trust God. So for that child, so for that, so for that son, that daughter, that opportunity. So for it. So for it today. So for it. God has moved on our behalf today. And I want you to do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Elder Knight. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Trey. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. You're sowing because you love God. You love God. There are others right now that are sitting in the sanctuary and say, Pastor, I don't have the hundred. But I sow 50. I sow 40. Will you stand and get him one of these lines, please? Quickly. I've already superseded time today. <clears throat> but you're sowing that 40, that 50, that 40, 20. Stand and get in one of these lines quickly. Come on. That should be all of us. Thank you, son. Thank you, Sister Carter. Thank you, Sister Tate. Thank you, my brother, for coming. Thank you, Sister Eccles. There's some more. Pastor, I don't have the 100, but I'm going to sow this 20. I'm going to sow this 40. I'm going to be a blessing to this church. We can do it. Thank you, Sister Blackman. Thank you, Sister Tamika. Bless you. Thank you, Sister Butler. There's a song, I think, by Richard Smallwood. Trust me. Trust me. your seat into your right hand Father I thank you Father we thank you for these seeds that the people are giving to be a blessing to this church some are giving online some are giving by faith some are giving 140 some have even been compelled to give a thousand dollars a day God I thank you for opening that door Thank you. Open an opportunity. And we praise you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come all over the building. Come. That's everybody. Bring in your seats. Thank you, son. 